Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Ryman versus Harris. From the court documents, Ms. Ryman, it's my understanding that you are suing Ms. Harris for injuries that you sustained at a party. You're asking this court to award you $10,000 in past medical expenses, $15,000 for future medical expenses, $75,000 for the cost of the party, and $150,000 for pain and suffering for a total of $250,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Harris, your, your position, in, based on your court papers, is that this is not your fault. You did what you were paid to do. This is her fault for bringing balloons. That's 100% correct, Your Honor. Okay, folks, now let's get into the legal sauce. Ms. Ryman, tell me what led up to this uh, party. Your Honor, 20 years ago, my husband and I got married in a courthouse. Congratulations. Thank you. Straight out of high school, we had nothing, and we promised each other that in 20 years, we would have the wedding of our dreams. So this is gonna be a big deal. Yes, it was supposed to be, and it really was until the accident. Now what makes up a dream wedding? What did you have planned? We had the most perfect cake, beautiful flowers, horse and buggy, just like Cinderella. Horse and buggy? Yes. Okay. Look at it, it's just perfect. Look, I never even got to ride in that, Your Honor. You didn't ride in the no, horse and buggy? No, I went off in an ambulance. Okay. <clears throat> So tell, tell me what else happened to, that led you to get to these folks to plan your wedding. Why'd you pick them? Well, my friend, who I trusted, referred me to this person right here. And her reviews were, were really good, but she must have done trailer park weddings. But, That's but probably least, why they were good. At least based on the reviews, you thought you had the right person yeah, to plan I your wedding. Yeah, I thought I did. I can see this is important to you. Very. I'm, 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 I'm just beyond upset. Yes, ma'am. So you invited guests and family. How many folks are going to be at this wedding? 200 people. I had family and friends from all over the world fly in. And this dream anniversary party ends up turning into a nightmare. It was an absolute disaster. So, Ms. Harris. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, your events don't usually turn out like this, right? No, Your Honor, they don't. I've been in business for over a decade. I have a stellar reputation. You are the professional. I am the professional, and okay. that's why yeah. people come to me. That's why I have great reviews. That's why people are referred to me. You have to book my calendar at least a year. Yeah, so you're pretty highly on. sought after. So she's actually lucky she got on my calendar. Tell me this, what goes into party planning? What do you do? I put a lot of time, <laughs> effort, and love into making Please. sure her day went perfect. Oh, she was, she argued with me about everything. She gives What kinds name, of things were y'all fighting about? Do you, do you, have you ever heard the term bridezilla? Uh, yes ma'am. Uh -huh. Isn't that her job? Bridezilla, she makes bridezilla look calm. Well, give That's me an example. What, what made her a bridezilla? She, what was she doing? She rejected every plan I had. Okay. She Orange like, flowers. Because Orange that's the color flowers. Scheme she wanted. But, but tell me this, though. Isn't it the customer's always right? To a point, yes. Okay. I was hired by her to do a job, which I did. Yes, ma'am. No, she I didn't. I can't necessarily continue to argue with Bridezilla. This, this wasn't your first encounter no. with an anxious bride, right? No, but this was a whole different level. She had to have a horse and buggy. Of and course I did. It's my what day. Is she, I paid for it. But, but wait a minute. In terms of these special arrangements, that's what you get paid for. Of course right? I do. Yeah, but from the beginning, her ideas, they were tacky. You're tacky. So, but, but do you get to judge that, though? Well, when you hire me... Isn't the customer me, always right? Well, you know, Your Honor, yeah. when you hire me for my professional opinion and I give it to you... They're supposed to take they're it. They're supposed to listen. I mean, tacky is Professional tacky. opinion, You so, can't please. buy class. Ms. Ryman, I, I, until this case, I never heard about uh, wedding balloons. Tell me what happened to you. So, Your Honor, my husband and I, we were doing the first dance... All eyes were on us. It was the most beautiful moment. And thinking back on the years. Everything, and, and it was wonderful. And yes, ma'am. All of a sudden, I feel this sharp pain on my head. And I'm on the floor. Just out of the blue? Out of the blue. Take your I, time. Take your time. I know it's important to you. I look down, and my dress is full of blood. There is blood all over my face, just dripping. I don't even know where it's coming from. Now, Miss Harris, you remember this incident? Yes. Not, not regarding who caused what, but you remember blood on a dress, this messy scene? Your Honor, it was absolutely horrific. And I, I imagine I, you were frightened, too. I was, and, and I Please. ran to her aid. 
I help Immediately. Her. Immediately. I look up and I see my kids and they're just looking at me in Your terror. Your kids saw this. Your my kid kids and my kids are so traumatized. And I look over and it's a disco ball on the floor. So, so you're lying there, you, you are covered with blood, your kids are watching. What's going through your head? I'm just thinking I'm gonna die in front of my kids. So then what happened? I was just so scared and uh, somebody called 911 and an ambulance came. I called 911, Your Honor. Yes, yeah, thanks that's, a lot. That's the right thing to do. I see this uh, disco ball that you got over here. Uh, obviously, the one that hit you came apart. It crashed, right? Yes, Your Honor. This is about the size of that disco ball? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, how, how heavy is that thing, that, that uh, disco ball? It's around 15 pounds. Okay. And that's what fell on your head? Yeah. This whole thing boils down to her not listening to my professional advice. This is her what, responsibility. What was, came, what was your professional She advice? came to me wanting balloons, and I told okay. her no. No balloons, we are not doing Why can that. I not have balloons at my own wedding, Your Honor? Because it was going to look like a circus. With my name on this, I didn't want a tacky, tacky event is your to name. be attached to me. Balloons are for kids. What did you tell her to let her know it's not a good idea? Well, I submitted a design to her, beautifully oh. done. I it think was that's in your idiots. court paper. Yes, sir, it is. This is the design. Uh, tell me about this. How, what, why should this mean something today? That's correct, because you'll notice that the disco ball is in the middle of the floor, okay. and then we have the tables. So you will notice there are no balloons whatsoever in my diagram. So That's the balloons tacky. were tacky, but the disco ball wasn't tacky? Right. Well, you know, Your exactly. Honor, you have to pick and choose your battles. I'm choosing 70s flavor over a kid's birthday party. Now, now Miss Ryman, what, what actually happened to your face? All I see is a bandage in your neck. Look, Your Honor, I have a scar. Okay. And I'm gonna have to have plastic surgery nasty. to fix that. So that's why you're asking this court for $15,000 for future medical expenses. Yes, Your Honor. And your past medical expenses of $10,000 are for the treatment you've already had. Yes. Okay. I also see in your papers that you sustained a concussion. What, what was that like? I was nauseous, I was throwing up. I have constant migraines. I can barely move my neck. It reminds me of my old football days. I never ran into a disco ball, but I had plenty of concussions, so I understand this. I can't even be a part of my kids' lives now. Yeah, this, this uh, hurt the mommy time. So, Miss Ryman, you talked about the blood going down your face onto your dress. Your Honor, this was... You this brought was, the dress. This was my dress. Okay, that's and a beautiful dress. This was my grandmother's... Despite the stains. This was my grandmother's dress. And it was my wish to give it to my daughter, and now it's ruined. It's yep. destroyed. She's lucky she doesn't have to wear that now. Shut she, up! She should thank you. So why are you not responsible for this? This happened on your watch, with your planning, at your event, and you're the professional. Tell me why this is not your fault. Well, the reason it's not my fault is because the balloons are what caused this accident. She wanted the balloons around the disco ball. Horrible idea. You actually submitted to the court an exhibit uh, regarding the disco ball. Could you go over there and explain to me how you believe this happened? Yes, Your Honor. So, Your Honor, you'll see the disco ball, and you see the balloons with the streamers hanging from the balloons. Okay. What happened with that is the tacky balloons here and their streamers, the streamers got caught in the chain of the disco ball. It kept wrapping around and wrapping around and wrapping around eventually binding, causing the disco ball to fall. So this was a disaster waiting to happen. It was because of the tacky balloons. Tacky, tacky, tacky. To this make matters worse. Now, now Miss Ryman, when you, when you look at this animation, uh, it is kind of common sense that balloons will get into an argument with that disco ball. It says here in the court papers that the reason why you wanted balloons is to honor your father. That was kind of his trademark gift to friends and family. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. But then mom comes in with even more balloons. You know, there's a crazy cat ladies. I sure. think she's a crazy balloon lady. You may return you. back to the uh, podium. Mom is here, right? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Patterson, could you stand up, please? Yes. I want to hear from you if you'll step to the podium. Thank you, Your Honor. State your name for the record. I'm Irma Patterson. I'm also known as Mama Balloon. Mama Balloon. That's Mama a Balloon. very silly okay. name, Your Honor. So you wanted the balloons. I did. This has been a... And lots of them. A family tradition, as she was saying. We, we do this in honor of my, of my late husband. 
Yes, ma'am. A, a tribute to him. Yes. Every event we have, we have balloons. So, so your husband, Sam, and your dad, he's always present when the balloons are present. Yes, sir. You know, put a few in a little arrangement on one of the tables. Write dad's name on one of them. Whatever we need to do. That, that wouldn't have been you, enough of a tribute. You are rude. No, no, your honor. Now, you showed up with what sounds like a lot more balloons than they anticipated. Why? She had gotten balloons, but not what we had asked for. So I ordered 300 more balloons and had them delivered. 300 more balloons? Yes, sir. Your okay. Honor, basically, Mom caused the accident. She should be suing her mother instead of me. When you bring 300 in there, That's you, couldn't, a lot of you couldn't even see the disco uh, Listen, ball. if Matt was holding on to that, it probably would pick his 275-pound frame up <laughs> with 300 balloons. Right. It'd be like a Matty Poppins or something. <laughs> so, Miss Patterson, you brought 300 more balloons. Did you I, tell them in advance? I did not. Why not? Thank you. It was going to be a surprise for my daughter. This was a magic event. This Trying was the most this magical special. event of her life. And I wanted it's a, it's it to be so... It's a shame you ruined it. You ruined oh, it. Oh, hush. You ruined it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, you should have known better. This is your job. Mm -hmm. And I tried to do it, but you all would not No, you did not say advice. it. You never said it would be hazardous. Talk to me. I mean, you just kind of have to throw your hands up at some point because Bridezilla and Momzilla had not been listening to a <laughs> word I said the whole time. I want to understand because it, it looks like, you know, a party favorite. I, I It's still... Tough to understand how it caused all these injuries. Uh, we're gonna bring in Miss Katie Lowry. She's a physics expert who's gonna tell us the <laughs> physics of how this happened. Sheriff Matt, will you get Miss Lowry? Sure will. Miss Lowry, welcome. Thank you. Can you talk about the forces at, at play with this uh, ball falling? Yes, yeah, so it's all about the energy transfer. So okay. it's all about how much energy was transferred from the disco ball, which we know weighs 15 pounds. Um, and the plaintiff's head, which was approximately 15 feet below the disco ball. We find, using that information, that the velocity or the speed of the ball as it hit her head was 21 miles an hour. And so what that means for us is we can calculate the energy that, that was absorbed like, by like her head. Like a car going 21 miles an hour, yes. that kind of miles an hour? Yes, okay. yes, absolutely. And we can use our kinetic energy formula, one half our mass, uh, m, times our velocity, v squared. And we find that the amount of energy that was transferred to her was 221 foot-pounds of energy. Almost like Matt falling on her head. Yes. <laughs> Ms. Lowry, thank yes. you so much thank for your you. testimony. Parties, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to make my decision. <laughs> Folks, in every personal injury case, there are three elements. That is, someone did something wrong, and that wrong caused your harm. Here you clearly are harmed, and your harm was caused by this disco ball falling. So, Ms. Ryman, this uh, very special day turned out to be a tragic day. Yes, sir. You designed this event. You, you and your mom planned on this big tribute to your dad. You and your husband and your family were going to celebrate these 20 years of marriage, and it turned out to be instead of riding uh, in a horse and buggy, you rode away in an ambulance, and that's not how it's supposed to turn out. Ms. Harris, you are the professional, and they should not have had balloons. They insisted on it, and the mom even surprised you with 300 balloons, which made this kind of thing more likely and more importantly, from your perspective, not your fault. That's correct, Your Honor. The evidence in this case is rather perplexing because it's kind of a perfect storm of things. Mama Balloon, I love that title. She admitted that she surprised Ms. Harris, trying to surprise you. A beautiful thing, but a beautiful thing that heightened the chance of danger and a bad outcome. Miss Ryman, I find that your mother is responsible for your injuries. No, no, no. But she's not the only one responsible. Miss Harris, I find that you are the backstop of safety. When you saw all these balloons, you could have said, stop. I tried, Your Honor. Because you didn't, this happened. But the both of you contributed to this very tragic outcome. In that regard, I find that you are 75% negligent and your mom contributed 25% to the fault. Here, you've asked this court to fine for you in the amount of $250,000. In light of your mother's responsibility for your injuries, I'm giving you 75% of that. I'm going to award to you and against Ms. Harris $187,500. That is my final decision. 
and this matter is adjourned. Yes. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Gary Martin Hayes has to say. The physics expert provided critical testimony for the plaintiff. She showed the severity of the impact that the disco ball had on the plaintiff's head. It equaled 221 pounds of force at the instant of impact. This was a concentrated force hitting the plaintiff's skull. Now, oftentimes, an expert witness can be the difference between losing your case or taking home millions of dollars.